coach lost his watch his white gold Rolex watch in a celebration who might that be well John Calipari's lucky Rolex lost in UK women's basketball celebration has been found John Calipari's missing Rolex has been found. Apparently, Kentucky women's basketball coach Kyra Elsey gets credit for her second win of the day in the process. Shortly after watching the UK women's basketball team's upset of number one South Carolina in the SEC tournament final in Nashville, John Calipari tweeted he had lost his white gold Rolex in the celebration. He told fans he was offering a reward for its return. But a few hours later, Calipari tweeted, Elsie had tracked down his missing watch. Can you believe it? Elsie wins an SEC championship in one of the greatest comebacks I've ever seen. And then she finds my watch, Calipari tweeted. You're the, <clears throat> you're the best, Coach Elsie. One day, after his own team's win at Florida to finish the regular season, the UK men's basketball coach traveled to Nashville with his wife, Ellen, to watch the SEC women's basketball tournament final between Kentucky and South Carolina. In the excitement of UK's comeback from a 15-point deficit, Calipari managed to lose his white gold Rolex. In a video of Calipari celebrating Drayana Edwards' game-winning three posted to Twitter by Kyle Tucker of The Athletic. Calipari can be seen throwing his arms in the air and then quickly looking on the ground for something. He turns to Ellen and says, my watch. Congratulations to UK coach Kyrie Elsie and the entire team, Calipari tweeted, just before 6 p.m. Sunday. Absolutely amazing accomplishment and so much fun watching them today fight and play as one. Also, I threw my arms in the air celebrating and my white gold Rolex popped off my wrist. If you find it, I have a reward. Calipari finished that tweet with another saying, the missing Rolex is his lucky watch. The Calipari's were sitting in the Kentucky fan section behind UK's bench. It is unclear how exactly the watch found its way to Elsie, but many of the fans, usually sitting behind the bench, are family and friends of the women's basketball team's players and coaches. So that there is one story of interest. So let's move on to another one. Bray's response to Patrick Mahomes goes viral. Tom Brady may be retired from the National Football League, but the seven-time Super Bowl winning quarterback is still keeping a close eye on the sport. Earlier this week, Brady's tweet about the NFL scouting combine 40-yard dash times went viral on social media. Brady responded to a tweet from Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes, who was used, used in a clip by the NFL Network. Brady, of course, ran an even slower 40-yard dash time 
at his NFL scouting combine back in 2000. And one moment as we're having some technical difficulties. One of the tweets, Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes, y'all didn't have to put me in that group getting left like that. Then at NFL, at Go Bearcats QB, at Desmond Ritter's 4.49 40-yard dash beat Marcus Mariota at Dang Russ Wilson and at Patrick Mahomes. And evidently some of this was in regards to the young man that just like 6'5", 348 pounds, just with that 4.8, 40-yard time caught everybody's attention. So, yes, yeah, some of the guys who's 40 times he beat are some of the guys that are like, <laughs> well, let's just say pretty much legends, so to speak. There will be more on that story, but how about this one right here? Commenting on WNBA star Brittany Griner, Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken says U.S. ready to give every possible assistance to detained citizens. Reacting to WNBA star Brittany Griner being detained in Russia, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said Sunday the United States will provide every possible assistance to citizens who are being held in foreign countries. There's only so much I can say given the privacy considerations at this point, Blinken said of Griner. Whenever an American is detained anywhere in the world, we of course stand ready to provide every possible assistance and that includes in Russia. We have an embassy team that's working on the cases of other Americans who are detained in Russia, he added. We're doing everything we can to see it, that their rights are upheld and respected. Blinken made his remarks at a joint news conference with Moldova President Maya Sandu. Griner is being detained in Russia after customs officials said they found hashish oil in her luggage at an airport near Moscow in February. Like many WNBA players, Griner has long played overseas in the winter months, most recently in Russia. The State Department issued a do not travel advisory for Russia on January 23rd that warned Americans against traveling to Russia because of the potential for harassment against U.S. citizens. The embassy's limited ability to assist U.S. citizens in Russia, COVID-19 and related Entry restrictions, terrorism, harassment by Russian government security officials, and the arbitrary enforcement of local law. Another do not travel advisory was issued Saturday, nine days after Russia began its military invasion of Ukraine. The 31 year old Griner has played nine seasons with the Phoenix Mercury, who lost in the WNBA Finals in October to the Chicago Sky. She won a championship with the Mercury in 2014 and gold medals with the United States at the Olympics in 2016 and 2021. So right now, the best we can do is pray for the safety of those Americans being detained and especially that of Brittany Griner. Hopefully she gets to come back home and continue her professional career over here in the United States. Well, that's going to do it for this lunchtime edition of In The Zone. There will be more to come. Eventually, I will get to that long extended version, but I hope right now that you are enjoying the lunchtime editions of In The Zone with Anthony. So feel free to download these episodes, share these episodes, Give me some feedback. I would greatly appreciate it. Until the next time, always stay locked in the zone and be blessed. This is yours truly, Anthony Smith, signing out.